Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use videos in Microsoft Forms quizzes and how to accept file uploads in Microsoft Forms. So let's go ahead and take a look. Now, this is a follow up to my previous video about the basics of making a Microsoft Form. If you don't know those, go back and take a look. I have a link for that in the description down below. We're going to make a new quiz right here. And we're going to call this one demo quiz number 10. Just a demo. And just like before, I'm going to add in a question. And I'm going to say, what is your name? And obviously, we make that required, but I'm not going to grade it. And now let's go ahead and add a new question. And in this question, I'm going to do a multiple choice based on a video. So the question is going to be, what should you never use when replacing the tire on a bicycle? And I'm now going to select Insert Media. I'm going to choose Video. And I'm going to paste in the URL for a video that I found on YouTube. I'm going to hit the Add button. And there it is. Now I'm going to use the multiple choice options here. And we'll say Screwdriver. Tire Lever or glue. So I'm now going to put a correct answer in there, hit 10 points, make that required, and we're done with that question. Now we can also do that with a short answer question. I'll hit add new. I'll do a text question. And we'll say, what are three things you need to replace the inner tube in a bicycle tire. And again, I'm going to insert media, use video, paste in the link to the video. And now I can have a list of correct answers. Or if I do a long answer, then students can write in a more free form method as opposed to just writing one word or one sentence answers. So I'll do long answer there. Now the last type of question we're going to add here is a question where students can respond by uploading a file. So to do that, we're going to select add new. And rather than doing multiple choice or text or rating or date, we'll use the more options here and we'll select file upload. And we'll get this little notice that a new folder will be created in OneDrive where all the files will be uploaded to. Let's click OK. And then we're going to say, submit a picture of yourself replacing a bike tire. Now, we're going to allow one file to be uploaded. We can select the size of the file. And we'll make that required. And I'm going to select the file type. And in this case, I'll only accept an image. Now, let's hit, we'll save that. And we're done. Now, this will only allow images to be uploaded. You can see I could also choose video files or audio files. I'm only going to accept images and students can upload one file. Now, when I go to share this, we'll see that we have the option for only people in my organization or specific people in my organization. If you do a file upload, you cannot share it outside of your organization. Only people within your organization can upload files. And so you, you'll see anyone can respond is completely grayed out. 
Now we can preview this. And we'll see, again, what is your name? And we can actually fill this out if we want to. And we'll see now the upload file is active and people can upload a file right into that form and then submit it. And we'll view the results. And in this case here, we'll see that the student or the demo student here only got 10 out of 30 points because this was the only automatically graded question. This one needs to be graded manually, as does this one. So now we'll go back. We'll see those responses. Again, these are demo responses. We can review the answers. We'll see that what is your name is not scored. This one needs to be reviewed, so we'll put in points. This one here. I can go and look at that photograph. I can go and click on it and look at it and put in a point value. And we'll see it's automatically updated. And once again, we have the time that it took the student to complete this activity. So there's our responses, our scores. And if you want to get all of your scores when your students are finally done in a, in a spreadsheet, you just click on open in Excel and you'll have it. So the next video in this series, I'll show you how to create a multiple section Microsoft form quiz. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out practicaledtech.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.